Hi guys! Today we're going to look at how we can create custom gizmos to help us when working in the scene view. We're going to use this scene from our video on moving platforms, and we're going to add some custom gizmos to show the path of the platform when we're editing the scene. If you'd like to know how the moving platform was set up, then take a look at the previous video. Alternatively, you can download this project by supporting us on Patreon. All the relevant links can be found in the description. OK, we have a waypoint path object with a script attached. This has several child objects that represent each waypoint in the path. Then we have a moving platform that follows its assigned path. Let's open the script attached to the waypoint path. To draw custom gizmos in the scene view, we'll use the onDrawGizmos method. In here, we'll loop through all the child waypoints and draw a sphere gizmo at the position of each one. Then we'll draw lines in between each waypoint to show the path. OK, let's start by creating a for loop to loop through all the child waypoints. We'll get the waypoint at the index position. We're using a method we created in the previous video that simply gets the child object at the specified index. Next, we'll use the Gizmos colour field to set the colour we want the gizmo to be. Then we'll use Gizmos draw sphere to draw a sphere at the waypoint position with a radius of 0.2. Let's save this and switch back to the scene view to see how it's looking. We can see there's now a sphere drawn on each waypoint. Let's go back to the script to add the lines between the points. We'll use another method we created in the previous video to get the next waypoint index in the path. We'll use this index to get the next waypoint. Next, we'll change the gizmo colour to yellow. Then we'll use gizmo's draw line to draw a line between the two waypoints. Let's save this and switch back to Unity to take a look. Now we can see the lines showing the path the platform will take. At the moment, the gizmos for the path are shown in the scene view all the time. This might get a bit crowded if we had lots of paths, so we'll have a look at how to only show the path when it's selected. We'll switch back to the script and create a new private method called isWaypointSelected that returns a boolean value. In here, we want to check if the path object itself is selected, or if any of the child waypoints are selected. To be able to do this, we'll first need to add the Unity Editor namespace. We'll also add the System Link namespace, as this will help us to do some of the checks more easily. Then in the method, we can use the Selection Transforms collection to see what's currently selected in the hierarchy. We'll check if it contains the transform of the waypoint path. If it does, we'll return true. Next, we'll loop through all the child waypoints. If any of these are selected, we'll also return true. If neither the waypoint path or the child waypoints are selected, then we'll return false. Then we just need to call this method to check if anything relevant is selected before we draw the gizmos. Let's save this and switch back to Unity. Now the gizmo path is only shown when we select the parent path object in the hierarchy, or when we select one of the child waypoints. The final thing we're going to add is the ability to show the path when the moving platform itself is selected. Let's switch back to the script to do this. We're going to want to be able to trigger the drawing of the gizmos from outside of the script. To allow this, we'll select all the code for drawing the gizmos. Then we'll select the Quick Actions menu and extract a method. We'll call this method drawWaypointGizmos. We'll also make this method public so that it can be called from other scripts. Then we'll switch to the Moving Platform script. In here, we'll add the onDrawGizmosSelected method. This method will only be called when the platform is selected in the hierarchy. In here, we'll simply call the drawGizmos method on the waypoint path. Let's save this and switch back to Unity. 
Now, if we select the platform, we can see the associated path it's going to take. OK, that covers everything for this video. Hope you found it useful. A big thank you to all our patrons. We really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments and subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Thanks, guys.